We started looking at the coastal mobility route as a part of our response to COVID-19. There was a 100% increase in cyclists in May this year compared to last year. That's a very significant increase. But what's significant is that there's, it's all ages, all abilities. We're seeing older people, we're seeing younger people, we're seeing families, we're seeing people who have mobility issues, we're seeing trikes, trishaws, there's a whole range. And even today we've seen so many people in cargo bikes or, 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 or children being brought out by their families uh, as groups. So this part of the county is characterised by a series of coastal villages. So you have Black Rock, Monkstown, the town of Dunleary itself, you have Glass Tool and you have Dorky. Until recently they've all been in many ways uh, disconnected from each other. This new cycleway is actually seen as a way of connecting these villages. Um, it almost creates a necklace off which these villages will hang. And so the visitor to this area will be able to cycle along and actually go into each village as they go along. For about three and a half kilometres of this, it's two ways segregated. And then there's another one kilometre in the Dunleary Harbour area that's um, in a, on quiet streets, if you like. People now, when they come into Dunleary, they're in a frame of mind because they've gone on a, a cycle route it's segregated, it's safe, they felt comfortable uh, with their families. When they come here, they want to spend time. When they spend time here, we also know that they'll be happy to spend money. And there is research that shows that when you do public realm improvements, mobility improvements that help walking and cycling, there can be a boost of up to 30% in retail activity in that place where it's done. So we've, we've worked very hard at the placemaking elements of it in terms of creating a look and a feel and an aesthetic that actually makes it very safe for all age groups and all users. Normally cyclists have to move with the cars, so if you're on the left of a car and you want to turn right, you have to compete with that car through the junction, whereas these setups uh, provide completely segregated crossing points, so the cyclist has their own phase completely. When I had my own kids on the route, it, you can notice that they, they tend to be quite afraid of going close to the curb because the cars are passing so closely. So we installed the wave delineators as a way to uh, encourage the cars to keep away from the curb, but also to encourage the kids to stay more towards the centre of the road. We've also created these stop-off areas where people can actually come stop off with their families, have a picnic and enjoy the views. What it also does though is it breaks up the, uh, the length of the route and actually makes it a much more enjoyable experience for people along it. And this is an area that relies very much on public transport, be it the dart or, or a bus. And when you look at it, you realise that the road system, which was very much at capacity before COVID, wasn't going to be able to help us. We needed to move to active mobility and needed to encourage walking and cycling to help us get us through this uh, crisis if you like and help support the public transport system. Pretty much immediately when we had started to build this more and more people started to cycle on the route and what we see now uh, is a very sort of wide range of cyclists, large numbers, much larger numbers than before. There are quite a number of schools uh, on this route and even this afternoon I can see many children coming from secondary schools down in Black Rock for example or in Monkstown using this route and that's really heartening because Sometimes there's a perception that this is some kind of a leisure route, that it's a greenway. What this is, is a transport corridor. Uh, I think the segway is great. It's uh, really good to not be afraid of traffic because, you know, I'm new to cycling and I don't want to get hit by a car. But uh, yeah, and just, like, I feel it's opened up the, the roads a lot more and uh, I just feel safer in general. The cycleway definitely makes it safer for me to go out late into the evening when it gets dark as well as uh, those busy Sunday afternoons when there's people walking everywhere. And it's now a real pleasure to cycle and um, so it's really good and if we could get out, get more of these kind of um, segregated bike lanes rolled out across the city it would be amazing. I think these lanes are great. Um, we just got the bike there last week to um, make full use of it. It's going to be primarily used for the school run. We're selling our second car now as well. Uh, probably wouldn't have bought the bike enough of the lanes but uh, it has to be on the school run so it makes it, the whole thing much easier. and. Uh, far more enjoyable as well. I actually went shopping this morning on my bike. I don't often do that. Yeah, I went up and did a grocery shop for two or three days. <laughs> that was great. Put it on my basket. I should do it more often, of course, yeah. <laughs> so I suppose it does encourage you to get out. It's like, I just feel way more safe than I used to from cars, because, yeah, because that thing that's in the middle. And, and I think it's also giving like the people on bikes more Priority, I think that's the word. But it's like I think it's way it's way nicer to people on bikes because like they people in cars usually didn't give as much room to people on the bikes, but now like they're giving them so much, like they're taking up half the roads. There's plenty of room 
and I'm not like fighting with cyclists for the space, which is good. And it's uh, not too dangerous with obstacles and bumps and things. So yeah, I'm a fan. It's just really nice to be able to cycle um, and not have to worry about traffic and people cutting into your lane and here as well. Like even going to work in Dublin, like I, I'm always conscious of traffic, so it's, it's quite nice and wide. Um, feels very safe. It has many different elements to it and it's simply more than just a means of transport. It's about a wider sense of community, of livability, of being able to do things and live in harmony in, in your local area.